Okay, this is interesting. We've got one, two really big rooms, and look at this crazy looking kitchen. Floor to ceiling windows, you can see the whole neighborhood. Speaking of which, look, there's something new getting put in over there. Wonder what these guys are doing. Brooklyn, this is Graham Avenue. And boy, this is a neighborhood with just about everything. First up, we got the Princess Bakery. They got everything from burgers to a three foot sandwich. And they have specialty cakes, including that baby shark cake. Looks like they'll even make you one with Bob Marley on it. Because that's what everyone wants on their birthday cake. Then we got ourselves a hat store. Although this is New York, you might want to be careful what color you pick. Could the wrong color have unintended consequences? Probably. This looks like the perfect place to save money. Look, they got paper towels, they've got Designer fragrances, maybe not designer. I don't get why so many places sell medium toothbrushes. They're not great for your teeth. Dollar soap though, can't go wrong. And they have colorful curtains, which your apartment probably won't have. It's like we got here just in time. They're opening up pizza and chicken. What a healthy filling combination. Those do look like amazing pizzas though. And lately, the last couple times that I got pizza, it was buffalo chicken pizza, so that I would probably go there. It's definitely a better deal than Bank of America. In college, I had a student checking account with them and I overdrew my account. They hit me with a fee, they didn't tell me and it ruined my credit and then I tried to get my first New York apartment. That was fun, I needed my parents' help. Thanks guys. We've also got more clothing stores, more shoe stores. This is actually a GameStop. And on the corner over here, you can get yourself a cell phone. And then America's best, I mean worst, I mean best breakfast. I'm not talking about you, Duncan. I'm talking about the ice cream. Actually, you should just go to George's. It's been in the neighborhood forever. Ooh, just looking in the window here is making me hungry. Look at this combo. This would feed you for like three weeks straight. And then at the end of the street, we got the flushing stop. If you need the train, it's right over there. And then we got Burger King, Texas chicken and burgers. Oh, that's how you get places. How fast does it go? 70 miles an hour. Got a little Mexican place over here. That in the blue and white, that's a little coffee house. And then behind me, we got a candy store. Just this. Thank you. Thank you. Uh you know, calling that a candy store, that uh, doesn't do it justice. That's like a full grocery store, disguised as a candy store. This here is the building. It's like a recent construction. I see some balconies and it's starting to rain. So I think we're gonna go in. If you wanna live here, check out the video description. This is interesting. We've got one, two really big rooms. And look at this crazy looking kitchen. Floor to ceiling windows, you can see the whole neighborhood. This is Williamsburg, by the way. Okay, some of these were off, but nothing is on. How about the intercom? Is there anyone out there? Things kind of loud. What probably happened here is somebody moved out, they're waiting for a new person to rent it and move in and that's why there's no power. It's kind of a shame. Look at all these super unique lights. I bet you this thing looks amazing when it's on. This was also a massive pain to bring upstairs. And look, we're only on the second floor. I could have parked it right there. Who am I kidding? It'll still get stolen. So this says it's the refuse room. Um, I guess I just, Put this here for now. But I'm curious to see if there's any other amenities here. Whoa! 
this is quite the roof deck. You can see the whole neighborhood. That's downtown Brooklyn. It is kind of cloudy though. And way over there, midtown Manhattan. This is a big roof. And I'm assuming that there will be furniture of some kind out here once it's a little warmer. Hopefully it's more extensive than these plastic tables. This probably belong to somebody that lives here and they just never made it back to their apartment. And you could totally bring a charcoal grill out here, no issue. Isn't this hallway something else? It's like all lit up and there's like mirrors everywhere. So interesting. I'm just glad that this place isn't like a cave. And even though the power's shut off, there's so much natural light in here, you'll save money on electricity if you just keep it this way. So the layout here is very straightforward. That's the entry point and you walk into the kitchen area. And right now the rent on this two bedroom is $4,200. From end to end, this common space is 12 by 14. So it's enough for a decent setup. Where the bike is, that's gonna have to be a table or a couch. Do decent setups include both of those? Not in New York. I just don't think you want anything to kind of screw up the flow of the room. So putting stuff in the center of it's gonna be difficult. Ooh, I love a fridge with not just one, but two freezers. All the appliances in here are a serious thumbs up. Everything's nice and high end. We've even got this massive vent that looks like it came from a restaurant. And there's a sink sprayer. And don't discount the in-unit laundry either. That's a big plus. You see that cave in there? That's where the bathroom is, so get out my light. It's a nice looking bath though. Check this out. The tile is pretty interesting. There's a really big tub. Sink's also big. And look at all the shelving that's kind of built in around the medicine cabinet. That's a nice touch. So there's a good amount of storage in here. It's also not a small bathroom. So, you know, if a couple's living here and you guys bump into each other in the bathroom, that won't be the end of your relationship. The bedrooms here are an absolute home run. This is the bigger of the two rooms. Again, we've got these nice big windows. Great view of the neighborhood. Speaking of which, look, there's something new getting put in over there. Wonder what these guys are doing. Now the dimensions here, it's eight feet by 13 feet, so that's big. Definitely enough room for a queen size bed and a few other things. You do have this situation with the double doors, so maybe that's something where you'd wanna keep one closed. If that stays in that position, you create a corner where you could put like a desk or something. And the cool thing about these is they let light pass through them and the living room, which doesn't have any light, stays about the same. You know, this could also be a nice living room if you're not sleeping in there. It's not a bedroom. If this is used as a one bedroom, this could be the bedroom, it would be just fine. This is a lot more traditional. It's seven and a half feet wide, but the length is the same. Windows are a little bit different. We've got normal windows here. Can we open them? There we go. And you know, this is cool. You can hear that it's not really that loud of a neighborhood. Plus these are modern windows, so once they're closed, zero noise. Closet here is pretty good. It's nice that you can put stuff below it and above it. That's a feature in New York too. Not everyone's gonna love the fact that this is $4,200, but it's definitely modern. It's definitely got every single feature. And if you wanna learn more about this apartment, check out the video description and then pick another video. Subscribe if you're not. I'll see you soon.